All right, I am one classes. Today, we're gonna to talk about graphing slope intercept form. Uh, so we're finally at the point of the year where we are graphing. We're not gonna use a table anymore, no longer plugging in X values to find Y values and plot points. We're just going to interpret the information in the equation and graph it that way. It's gonna be a lot quicker and easier way of graphing um, than what we've done in the past. So starting off, let's talk about what slope intercept form is. Uh, you may have heard this before. Slope intercept form is any equation that looks like this. Y equals MX plus B, where M is the slope. And remember, we've gone over slope. Slope is rise over run. So how far up the line goes uh, on, the, on the bottom, the number tells us how far over the line goes. Uh, and then B is the Y intercept. So the point where the graph crosses the Y axis. So we can just take this information here and then graph the line using this information. Um, some things, feel free to remember what the M and B stand for. So the M, you can think of it as standing for move. This is how the graph moves. And B, you can think of it as this is where the graph begins. So we begin at point B and we move according to the slope map. So let's look at an example. So, First thing I'm gonna do on this is identify the slope and y-intercept. So the M, the slope, is three over four. And then the B value is two. So that means the y-intercept is the point zero two. So first thing I'm gonna do is start at the y-intercept. I'm gonna plot this point at zero two. I like to put a green star for the starting point so I know where the graph starts. Next, I'm gonna move according to the slope here. So three over four, remember this is rise over run. So I'm going to go from the starting point, I'm gonna count up three to the right four and then put a point. So from here, up three, one, two, three, right four, one, two, three, put a point. Um, two points is what's, uh, what Delta Math is going to require you to do to create your line. Um, if we were in person, I'd have you do three points. And so to do a third point, because we ran out of space here, you can always go in the opposite direction. So um, instead of, so go back to the starting point, and instead of going up three, right four, you can always go opposite, down three, one, two, three, left four, one, two, three, four. But once you have a couple points, uh, you're going to actually connect these points with the line. We haven't been connecting points with the line yet, but that's what you're going to be doing today. Connect the points with the line, and then we're done. That's it. So the two steps, uh, make sure you identify your slope and y-intercept. Plot your y-intercept. That's the point where you're going to begin. That's the starting point, and then move according to the slope. So let's look at another example. Uh, y equals 7 fifths x minus 3. So uh, identify the slope. Again, the slope is attached to the x, so that's 7 fifths. The b value, notice how it's minus 3. So that means the b value is negative 3. So when you're subtracting here, that's going to be a negative. So my starting point is going to be at the point 0, negative 3. Again, I like to put in a green star at the starting point so I can see where the graph starts. Then using the slope, I'm going to count up seven, right five. So up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, one, two, three, four, five. That is all we're gonna be able to fit on this graph. So I'm just gonna connect my two points with a straight line, and I am done. All right. Let's look at another example. Uh, what happens when the slope is negative? So here, uh, again, I'm going to identify the slope. The slope is negative, uh, five, negative 2 over 5. So here's the thing. With, uh, with the slope, with the negative here, the top can be negative, the bottom can be negative, but not both. So what I like to do, just because it makes it easier to keep track of that negative, as I put the negative in the top of the fraction. It still makes the fraction negative overall, uh, but that's gonna make a difference what we do when we move when we're counting the slope. Uh, the B value, again, remember it's negative three here, so that's going to be, or it's minus three up there, so that means the B value is negative three, so my starting point is at the point zero, negative three. 
I'm going to go ahead and plot that point with my green star. So there's the y-intercept. And from here, since it's a negative slope, that means, uh, and I move the negative up to the two, that means I'm going to count down. When the slope is negative, instead of counting up, you count down and to the right. And so from here, from the starting point, I'm going to go down one, two, to the right, one, two, three, four, five. Put a point and then connect the dots. You can maybe do a better job of connecting the dots than I just did. Sure. Close enough. There we go. So, um, again, when the slope is negative, instead of counting up and to the right, you're going to count down and to the right. And that's going to give you the, the line going down from left to right. So let's do another example with the negative slope. So uh, I'm going to identify the slope again. Slope is negative two fifths, so I'm gonna make it negative two over five. The B value is plus two over here, so it's gonna be a positive two. So I'm going to start my line at the point zero two. Green star at the starting point, and then from here, I'm going to count down to right five. So from the starting point, down to one, two, right, one, two, three, four, five. Put a point and then connect the dots with the straight line. So almost done, uh, just a few more examples. We're gonna look at what to do if the slope is not a fraction. So I'm gonna start off the same way. I'm gonna identify what the slope is. It's positive two and the B value uh, is negative three here. So B is negative three. So it means I'm going to start my graph at zero negative three. I'm gonna put a green star at that starting point. And now let's talk about the slope. It's a whole number, right? So what I'm going to do um, because slope is easier as a fraction, I'm going to make that to a fraction just by putting it over one. So I'm just going to make it a fraction by doing uh, a one on the bottom of it. So here we can see now our two numbers. We can see the rise and the run. So if you have a whole number, make it a fraction by putting a one underneath it. So now I can see that from the starting point, I'm going to count up to right one. So from here, I'm going to go up one, two, right one put my point and then uh, connect those points with a straight line. All right. Another example, uh, this time the slope is negative four. The B value, so it's minus one up there, so the B value is gonna be negative one. So I'm gonna start my graph at the point zero, negative one. I'm gonna put a green star for my starting point, plot that right away. And then here, negative four, I'm gonna make it a fraction by putting a one underneath it. So negative four over one. And so now I can see my rise and my run. Since it's a negative four, the rise is gonna go down four to the right one. So from the starting point, down four, one, two, three, four to the right one. Point. And then once you have the points, connect your points with a straight line. All right. Last set of examples. Uh, what to do uh, if there's no B value there. So uh, this is a pretty uh, uh, spe special case here. So I'm going to write the equation again over here. Y is equal to X. A lot of kids see this and they freak out. They don't know what to do. Um, it's really no big deal. So remember, just because you can't see it, there's actually a one here. All right, so this is y is equal to one x. So we can identify the slope and y-intercept. Slope is easy. There's a one in front of it, so the slope is just one. All right, and remember, uh, slope is easier as a fraction, so I'm gonna put it over one. So I can see the rise and the run, just up one over one. Next, uh, the b value. We're not adding anything, there's no B value, so the B is just zero. 
So the starting point is zero, zero. It starts at the origin. So if you don't have any, if you're not adding or subtracting anything after the X, that means your starting point is at the origin, zero, zero. There's no B value. So right there. And then because the slope is one, that means we go up one, right one. So from the starting point, up one, right one. And this is actually one we could put a whole bunch of points, up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, or the opposite direction. Really only need the two to uh, do you graph your line. There we go. So um, one more example. So y is equal to 5 thirds x. So again, uh, the slope is five over three, it's what's ever attached to the X. We're not adding or subtracting anything after the X, so the B value is zero. So our starting point is at the origin, zero, zero. I'm gonna put a green star at the starting point, five over three, rise over run, so I'm gonna go up five to the right three from my starting point. So from here, up one, two, three, four, five, to the right, one, two, three. Put a point. Connect your points with a straight line. All right. Uh, that is it for the lesson today. Your assignment is on Delta Math. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you email me. But other than that, we will see you guys next time.